a partidei Delgado, acolo este Sigur, va fi corner, dragi ascultători Konami! Hello and welcome. I'm going to open up with an apology. You are probably all expecting me to be playing uh, Star Trek The Next Generation on Super Nintendo, which I'm not doing just yet. The reason for that is uh, I'm not particularly good at it. I want to get at least like half an hour out of it and I want to just get a bit of practice before I do that. And uh, I've got to go off today to London so I don't have time to get practice. So instead we're going to play Super Pro Protector, the Alien Rebels, which is uh, also known as Contra Spirits or Contra 3, depending where you are. Uh, this is the European version where they replaced um, the two Contra guys, whose names I forget, with some wicked looking robots that are very kind of uh, Neil Blomkamp esque. There we go, look at their little bunny rabbit ears. Um, so I grew up with this game, I'm a big, big, big fan. Um, thing to remember with it is it's it's a tough one it's a pretty tough game uh, it must be said so um i'm gonna play it this is a way of couching the fact that uh i intend to da, da, da. we're gonna put it on easy seven lives just so we know where we stand um because yeah it's pretty tough and if i have any hope of getting anywhere near the end that's the way that's the way it's got to be uh so we're gonna crack in to single player so yes, next week we'll have Star Trek The Next Generation, but in the time being, uh, we're going to play Super Pro Protector. So um, this is a game I had when I was a kid. Uh, I had a thing, I had a mate who was from Hong Kong, and he'd come back from Hong Kong one summer with something called a Super UFO, which was a kind of disk drive add-on that you plugged in the top of your Super Nintendo, and it had um, the capability to then uh, copy or back up your Super Nintendo games to floppy disk. And unscrupulous people, who weren't me, could abuse that. If you can imagine such a thing, they would abuse that facility uh, to go to, say, Ritz Video or Blockbuster and uh, take the newest games and copy them to floppy disks and keep them. Um, I was not that person. I simply backed up my existing games in case of any malarkey, because I'm, I'm good and moral. Um, so he had this thing, and the disk drive broke, and he said to me, oh, the disk drive's broke, I didn't want it. So he handed it over to me, and uh, I used to be like an Amiga kid, so I had a spare disk drive sitting around, and I put a new disk drive in it, and hooray, it worked. And when he came around my house and saw that I got it working, he looked unimpressed by the whole situation. Um, I had that until recently, I just donated it to the uh, Centre for Computing History uh, in Cambridge, because I do some work for those guys, do some videography and, and such, so... Um, yeah, they've got it now, and I hope they, the, the guys there tried to fix it, but it was a it was a no go, I think, pretty much, uh, which is a shame. But it's a bit of kind of piracy history. So um, yeah, let's talk about the game for a minute. So I play as a robot guy. It's a typical kind of contra formula. I have two weapon slots, so if I press X, I can change my weapons. Probably got heat seeker. I've got jump. I've got a bomb. I'm not going to let off yet, and I can fire. I got my uh, two triggers here. Does this kind of spinning move? Uh, classic kind of Super Nintendo stuff. It's got kind of Mode 7 in it and, and kind of fake 3D. Uh, and it mixes it up actually. There's kind of a couple of driving levels, there's some top-down levels which we will see shortly. Um, takes place in some kind of destroyed apocalyptic Earth, I guess. I've never really pieced it together. The name Alien Rebels is very confusing because it suggests they're rebelling against us as if we enslaved them or something, in which case we've probably got it coming. Um, also, there was a Pro Protector game on, on the older Mega Drive, which is which is not very good, because uh, I've got it somewhere on a ROM. Uh, I am emulating. I know purists don't like that, but hey, ain't, ain't nobody got too, ain't nobody got time for that. My house is full of shit, man. I'm not going to fill it with vintage consoles as well. It's crazy. 35-year-old, well, 34-year-old man with a cupboard full of comics, you know what I mean? It's hard enough explaining that away at the best of times. Um, ooh. So yeah, uh, I'm going to rip through this, we're going to see some cool stuff. Uh, it's also kind of a good place, I've, I've just been ruminating recently, like this is quite a cool low-key place to get your get your Valverde gossip, right? Like, in terms of what's going on and such like. So, um, what's going on at the moment? I just had Toby Venables over and he recorded some special episodes of It Ain't Broke With Me which should be going out soon. Uh, all being well, I'd rather like to get one out on the coming Monday after this video, but it depends on the time to edit. 
So Toby appeared in the Die Hard vid I did uh, last Christmas. Look at this. Watch this sucker go down. Yeah, eat laser dirt breath. Yeah, so Toby was in the Die Hard video. He is uh, a lecturer at ARU here in Cambridge. Um, he's also an author and a screenwriter. So uh, we're going to talk about two separate topics. For fuck's sake, look at that. I just got rid of one of those. Fuck it. Two separate topics. Um, Toby used to be my teacher on my degree. That's how we know each other. And um, we're doing a, a kind of long-form discussion on Star Wars and one about the about zombie movies. It's, it's, it ain't broke, but it's not the normal formula. We're not focusing on any specific films. We're just going to have kind of discussions about those two topics. Uh, personally, I'm kind of really done talking about Star Wars. It stopped being fun. Ah, oh, bollocks. Kind of stopped being fun a while ago, so I sort of want to put Star Wars to bed a bit. I mean, I'm sure when... Um, Shit. When episode 9 happens, I'm going to have to talk about it again, but just stop being fun, man. You know what I mean? You can't just talk about Star Wars anymore. you got to be have some fucking political affiliation and all that shit and have an opinion other than I did or didn't enjoy it, which is really tiresome. So we had a nice chat. That was this morning. I had over a cup of tea. Oh, come here. A cup of tea and some cookies and that, and we recorded, so that was grand. So I'll get those out soon. Uh, coming up on the slate soon as well, we have... Uh, we talked about Get Shorty recently, me and Duncan, uh, Duncan and I, I should say. Did Get Shorty, we got Terminator Salvation and Alien 3, uh, all in the bag. It's one of my discussions with Toby. And also, so you lose your bombs every time you die, it's a bastard. And watch this. Here's some nice kind of fake 3D uh, shit with this character. I guess you would call that Mode 7, I don't know. I know Larry Bundy's been watching this. You can correct me in the credits, Larry, if, you, if you're watching this one. Um, Oh yeah, hold on. Rhythm moths. So it's got a kind of Giga-esque design sensibility and stuff in it. You know, it's all kind of vaguely body horror-ish uh, in that everything. Like, look, his legs are made out of brains and stuff. Loads of insects and, and whatnot in this. Insect baddies. Whoa, shit, I'm gonna die. Whoa. Fuck off. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it's got a nice kind of design thing in it. We're gonna see some very copyright infringy enemies in a bit because you basically have to fight some some terminators soon which is quite funny so we go there's level one complete there's my cool robot bunny-eared guy oh i got a life yeah yeah boy i did quite well in my practice run of this but i didn't complete it i got right to the end but hey -ho. so this is where it goes all kind of crazy and top down and we're gonna get some more mode seven so watch this Woo! Love the music in this game as well. Also, top down mode, the laser absolutely kicks it. Get two, look. Woo! Uh, Flamethrower is a good one to have as well. Top tip. So, you can play this two player simultaneous, which is pretty good. It makes these top down sections uh, rather confusing, but hey ho. Um, it's definitely. It's definitely a tough one. It's, it's you got to kind of know what you're doing rather than just picking it up because it can be quite tough. Uh, it's, a, it's a spicy meatball, put it that way. Um, it's a big pile of sci-fi fun bags, which you can quote me on. All the bombs. So anyway, uh, yeah, I was talking a minute ago about the the kind of upcoming slate that we got going on. Um, so there's, you know, things new and old. We, we did Robocop Prime Directors, which, you know, uh, it's only Tuesday. Just published that yesterday. That's gone down rather well, which I'm, I'm, I'm jolly happy with. Really good. You look at this set. It's sometimes easy is a bit too easy. I think I... A flamethrower. Oh, no, I've got the spread gun. For fuck's sake. Great. Now I've got to go to the next level with two lasers. What load of bollocks. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I'll get, I'll get back to Valverde News as soon as I've killed this arsehole. There you go, dickhead. Okay. Yeah, um, we caught a bit of shit recently because people are apparently frustrated that we are covering old ground that we covered on Oliver's channel. And um, I think that is and isn't fair, you know. Um, for example, like Alien vs Predator Requiem, I've never spoke, I've never done any content on that before. Uh, that was Duncan and Ollie. So the stuff that Ollie, Duncan and I have um, not covered together. Uh, I will admit, I am very reluctant at the moment to cover old ground, but there's sort of the idea of getting things in that are kind of familiar, uh, and things that will be entertaining, and I know we can speak about, and it is in a different format, 
and uh, I've had some chats with people in comment sections that maybe started out unpleasantly, but it was very nice because in, in those instances we ended up kind of ending on a nice note and making peace, and uh, rather than just you know slinging shit at each other. Because I'm I'm not into that, man. I'm someone says I'm shit on the internet unless they're kind of being abusive themselves. I'm not gonna enter into it on that level. So I've had some chats with some commenters who are kind of disappointed with the content we've made. And, uh, you know, if you are watching this, and if I did win you back over, uh, I'm sure you know who you are. Thank you very much for sticking around. And, um, I, again, I do appreciate what you're saying. And, um, yeah, we're trying to mix things up a bit more. So, like, the Terminator thing, uh, sorry, the Star Wars thing we've done, and the, and the zombie one, I've talked about those topics broadly before, but these are kind of specific focuses. And, uh, like I say, Toby's like a screenwriter and a writer and a film lecturer as well, so he taught me quite a lot of my method of analysing film and whatnot. Uh, so it's got a different tenor to it, you know? So, uh, yeah, pretty excited to get those done. Look at these little fucking, what are they, flying prawns? They're the worst, you flying prawns. Oh yeah, this guy's just a dickhead. Um, so yes, and someone said to me, like, why aren't you doing stuff, uh, you know, in the vein of your Die Hard video? Um, that's absolutely fair. That's absolutely fair point. Um, I want very much to do more stuff like that, but that stuff is very, very time-consuming. And you know, for example, were I to live at home with my parents, for example, I would be able to do what I wanted in that regards uh, because I wouldn't have the pressures of rent and whatnot. But I don't. I have to pay the bills and stuff, and I got. A, I run a business, so I got to keep that going. So uh, you know. It's hard to get that stuff done. However, I've written something about the Terminator series that I really want to do. Um, so that's coming up soon. Uh, if, but it's just shooting stuff like that, like the Die Hard thing, like making the fake little Die Hard segments. Uh, I did that on no budget, but it was super time consuming. Really worth it, like I really loved that. Uh, and I've got a B-movie series planned that was supposed to go on Oliver Harper's channel that's now going to be on ours, but I just need to find the time, essentially, guys. That's the main thing. Um, so, you know... That's that, and I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. Uh, so we are gonna have more varied content going forward, and I've just introduced these Let's Plays as well, which is a way to spice it up, um, I feel. So yeah, more stuff's gonna come. We just need to bed in. Um, we are extremely, uh, guys, I will talk about the game in a minute. It's just, this is quite a nice way to, to get the news out. Uh, we're really, really happy and humbled by the response we've got. Like, the amount of people that pulled into Patreon straight away, that was really, really lovely, and we really, really appreciate that. Um, at the moment, Patreon pays for our travel. Duncan and I live about an hour apart, so petrol and train tickets and stuff like that so we can work together. And um, just anything else so we can throw. People have done work for us and we can throw shekels their way. That works as well. So we are super, super grateful for that, guys. It really works. And if you're not giving to Patreon, that's totally fine too. We, we are very happy and proud to have your patronage. And uh, the channel's not monetized yet. We haven't quite reached YouTube's monetization criteria, but we will soon. It's really, really close, and I know in the opening days of monetization, you will not get much, um, you know. But it's it all counts, and uh, we are looking at merchandising as well. Um, so you know that's a thing too. Uh, not that we think we're big enough to qualify for merchandising. It's just that um, it's another way to help pay the bills and. The more kind of way we can monetize the channel, the more content we can do. So I'd love to do those kind of mini docs some more. Um, I really love the Die Hard thing. Speaking of which, um, my George Romero video is no longer online. Uh, I'm going to be uploading it up to our channel uh, soon. I think on Sunday I put that up for you guys. Um, if you want to watch it again, I know it's old content, but it otherwise would not exist on the internet. So um, it's back. Die Hard is going to come back at Christmas as well, and again, I know it's a re-upload. It's not going to stand in the way of making new content, but I'm going to re-upload it opportunistically at Christmas to try and get some clicks on it. Um, and just because I want it to exist again, you know, it'd be a real shame for it to... Ah! So this section, if you don't, you die if you do that. Um, yeah, and if you get shot in the face. It'd be a real shame for that to vanish from the internet, so that's going to come, maybe with a few tweaks. I've actually watched that back, and I found it really... I really didn't like it. I was, my presentation style is very stiff and whatnot, but... You know, I'm really proud of quite a lot of it, so, um, you know, that's that, that's going to come back. So yeah, that's stuff that's going on with the channel. Let's talk about the game for some time, because that is the point. So, uh, in level 3 here, I'm about to enter the, the chamber of copyright infringement, so watch this. And this, when I was a kid, this, I already love, oh, fuck's sake, I already loved this game, but this sort of just blew my socks off. Because these guys are kind of Terminator-esque. 
but it's what's coming up in a minute that is uh go on eat eat flame your dish very important tip if you are going to play this game you need to change your weapons out if you're uh if you think you're going to die because the flamethrower as you can see is proper deadly and i don't want to lose it ah oh, just like that shite yeah, I should be down there. Oh my god, I'm sucking. I'm sucking. Get back up, Probotector. Ian Probotector is his name. Okay. okay, so he goes in half, which is very reminiscent of the first Terminator film. I'm just going to sort of do this. There we go. Okay, so watch this. This is like the coolest boss ever. Yeah, eat bullets, dick face. I'm sorry, it was a mistake, I didn't mean it. Uh, so yeah, giant Terminator comes out of the wall. And uh, Terminator and Video Game Obsessed Kid that I was. That kind of blew my mind a little bit. Um, someone's asked me to redo... Uh, so I did like a kind of not quite speed run for um, Terminator on the Mega Drive. On Ollie's uh, Let's Play channel a few years ago. Someone's asked me to do it again, which I do kind of want to do, but I'm worried, again, people are saying that we're repeating stuff, so I'm a bit worried about doing that. Um, please give me your thoughts below. I think kind of movie licensed games seem most appropriate for this channel. Uh, if anybody wants me to see me, see me do that game, I could do it in about half an hour, I think, or 20 minutes. Um, please let me know, and I will do it. Um, I think amusingly bad licensed games are the way to go. Uh, this not being one of those, this is just a, a good game that I know I can kind of crack through and do a proper let's play on. Ooh, off. Dingus. Uh, so yeah, I've got the st <laughs> Star Trek Next Generation Futures Past, or whatever it's called, um, I've got coming up. I wouldn't say that's bad though, it's actually kind of... I mean, it gets Star Trek The Next Generation pretty much perfectly. You can even go and have meetings. I mean, <laughs> does it get more Star Trek The Next Generation than having a meeting? I don't think that it does, you know. Yeah, suck it, you alien rebel. Or maybe I'm the alien rebel, I don't, I don't really know. Um, yeah, so I picked up a life there. Which is kind of bad news, because this level is really... I hate, this is probably my least favourite level in the whole game. So it's this kind of enforced uh, driving section through which I have no agency. And it's pretty fucking tough, to be honest. Whoop. Get out of it. Oh, fuck off. I do have continues though, I should say, so it's not going to be all over. I think there's six stages in this, um, so I'm pretty sure the kind of, there's again a big kind of Giga-esque um, flesh tunnel that you go into at the end of the game. Um, a lot of it's trial and error, you know, with this game. It's one of these things you would get the, a lot of the old games were quite short if you knew what you're doing, but it was all about trial and error, it's about going in and not really knowing what you're doing. Fuck off. Oh. So the theoretical advantage of the spread gun is it can take out multiple enemies, but it's weak as shit, so it kind of works, so let's do my move. So I can't even do my double move, but this is the worst. I'm definitely going to die under here. Okay. Sorry, ladies and gents. I'm going to have to focus. Focus, you know. This is bonkers though, this game, actually. I mean, that's the, um... I know the, the current sentiment is... Every time. I think the current sentiment is fuck Konami, as, uh... You know, Jim Sterling and fuck Konami news. It's, it's the sentiment towards Konami, but this is, uh... Good Times Konami. And of course, you know, Konami made the, uh... Metal Gear Solid series as well. And also, arguably recently ruined the Metal Gear Solid series. Um, which is a bit of a shitter. Which brings me on to my next point as a bit of uh, a bit of housekeeping. Fuck house. Bollocks. Um, yeah, people have been asking me to do different stuff and that's all good. Uh, problem is, at the moment... Uh, every time... I've forgotten how to do this bit. Um, uh, yeah. Six, I'm kind of stuck at 16 bits. I'm just using a software-based capture method. 
Uh, and I reckon if I window a PlayStation 1 game, we should be all good. Uh, but I'm not sure just now, so I'm looking into that. I'd like to do some more. I could do N64 and PlayStation and stuff. I've been asked to do... Shit. Flamethrower. Oh, bollocks. Alright, here we go. Don't worry, this is Valverde. We don't uh, we don't do edits. I'm not going to pretend that... Uh, I'm not going to pretend that the, the previous section didn't happen. I think there was important, important stuff in there. Oh, Graham, we're starting here anyway. Um, yeah, a bit more kind of current stuff. I still want to do a Resident Evil 7 Let's Play. Uh, I might borrow somebody's Xbox and a capture card do that. Uh, and yes, something that's come up time and time again is do I want to Let's Play the Resident Evil 2 remake? And hell yes, I do. Um, very much so. Obviously, I'm been waiting for that since the Resident Evil 1 remake came out in 2003 or whatever it was. Um, so yeah, really excited for that. As you may know, it's like my favourite game ever, Resident Evil 2. Um, so yeah, one way or another I will let's play that. It's going to be you and me together for six or seven hours or whatever. Can you imagine? Can you imagine these dulcet tones for hours and hours? It's just like being forced to live with me. Which um, is tolerable for periods of four to five years at a time, I found, before people start losing their rag. Um, but there you go. A couple of hours do you no harm. You don't even have to make me dinner, so there's that going for it as well. Fuck off, you ninja cock end. You're even a ninja. You're not even a ninja, mate. You're just a dick. You've got no fans. Oh, shit. I just let him do that, really, didn't I? I'm going to die. Fuck it. There you go. Now, watch this. What do you think is going to happen next, uh, dear? Dear and kind viewer. What could possibly... Oh, no. I've been launched on a bomb. Well, this is a good tactic. I wonder where this is going to go. Oh, spinning. That's a neat trick. So basically, your uh, plan as a pro-protector, or whatever I am, is to launch myself on a missile at the alien craft and shoot at it. And also my machine gun seems to be a lot more effective on said alien craft than the bombs. Which is kind of ghouling really, I mean I would be looking at defence spending if I was in this situation. I want to see some receipts, you know, who sold these to us. I'm stuck with a shitbox gun as well. Okay, this is where it gets hairy. Oh. oh, you bastards! Yes, yes. All right, nice one. Okay, so big red vulnerable spot, as is the standard for all bad guys in all things ever, including some parts of Resident Evil. Since we're there, Ooh, get the vulnerability. Oi! Shit in hell. Oh, hey, I tell you, it's an unrelated thing. Uh, Duncan and I got given some wicked gifts this week uh, from Gemma Scattergood. And she has knitted us our own little kind of knitted avatar, guys. Uh, and I was going to do a video about it, but the thing is, Duncan, and uh, congratulations to our man Duncan, I am tending to all things at the moment. I'm running the Patreon and everything because Duncan is away on honeymoon because he got married back in the summer. Um, so Duncan's away on honeymoon. So I can't show him the little knitted uh, things that Gemma made for us because I want it to be a surprise. So I'm going to present his to him when I next see him. Uh, you might be watching this, Duncan. I doubt it because you're on holiday. Why do you want to watch me playing video games? Um, I will do a video about them soon, like a little one. They're really cool. Mine's like a little Judge Dredd and his is like a little... Uh, James Bond. I was going to say I'm not going to spoil it, but he doesn't care what else was going to be. Um, so yeah, those are neat. Uh, thank you very much, Gemma. I'm off to see Gemma and her partner, Frank. Uh, hello, Frank. Also, uh, in a minute, I'm getting wrapped up here and I'm off down the train station to go see them two in London. Uh, and have a darank, because it's been a while. So yeah, fun times. Uh, so top down level again. This one takes a slightly dry, dry desert from Super Mario theme. Uh, you notice it's a bit all about spy spider beasts. Um, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. This one has a similarly... Ugh. I don't want to jinx this, but last I did a little playthrough of this just to warm up, and I just absolutely smashed the boss. Um, but pride before the fall, right? Let's not be, let's not be too crazy about this. Spread gun. Ooh. Watch this. Ooh. If I press that one, he just stands still. So, right, okay. Fuck off, knob jockey. There we go, there we go. Hey, shit in hell. Wanker. Get this little wanker in. Alright, so yeah, off we go. By the way, just generally speaking, um, you know, we are very open to suggestion, and a lot of you have already been uh, suggesting stuff. 
in the comments and such. And not just let's plays, like anything you want to see. Just just let us know and we'll endeavour. Um, oh shit, you bastard. Ah. Tasty bit of moonwalking there by me. Even if I do say so myself. Come on. Uh, yeah, anything you got, just let us know. The situation at the moment is very much the... Um... Ah, shit. Bollocks. Yeah, we both have full-time jobs. We both got rent and bills to pay, or mortgage in Duncan's case. So, like, we would do more, but um, it's just not practical. Like, I'm pretty happy so far. You know, I did, I did all the logos and stuff. Uh, doing a lot of editing. Duncan's editing all the podcasts. We've done a lot of content, but we're kind of squeezing it in around our you know, quote unquote real lives. So as I said earlier, we would do more if we could. And we will, that's the plan, right? Like to do more stuff. Uh, need to say big thank you to Ellie Carley, who has taken over as propaganda minister and uh, is doing a lot of social media for us. Obviously we're still on our own personal ones, but uh, the lady behind the Valverde social media accounts, that's Ellie. So big shout outs to Ellie. Um, She's doing a fabulous job, I'm sure you agree. She's really got the tone down of all our, all of the fake dictatorship bullshit that we made up. Um, watch this, I could just go, meh. Come on. I mean, come on. That was pathetic, though it is on easy. So yeah, cheers Ellie, thanks for that. She's been nailing that recently. And uh, Raphael did the little uh, animated logo we have on the top of our videos now. Uh, Raphael just took unsolicited took my design for the uh, the the logo, you know, the radio tower, and then just messaged me on, on he DM'd me on Twitter, and just like, look, I've made you this animated thing. It looks fucking fantastic. It's really, really good. Um, so he gets the credit as well. Um, also, I'm going to announce this soon, but if there's anybody there who would, who's interested in making thumbnails for our videos, because I haven't done that yet, and it's something I want to sort of delegate out, because uh, obviously I'm putting a good few hours a week into editing stuff and whatnot. Um, but yeah, if you're interested, if you could do thumbnails for our vids, I would like to hear from you. Just give me a shout through the usual channels. That would be grand. Just killed a giant toothed penis there, as you may have noticed. I'm doing alright. Oh, fuck, I just said I'm doing alright as I jumped to my death like a prick. Uh, I've still got continue left, so let's see how that goes. Ah, you bastard! Changed out in time, no suck on that. Ah, shit! Okay, gonna need. <laughs> oh god! Oh, by the way, 100% not xenomorphs. Don't know what you're talking about. Oh, ah, shit! Oh no, I just lost my phone for it. Bollocks! All right. I suspect. <laughs> I suspect, dear friends, that we are. We're approaching the end game, um, in that we are at the end of the game, but I think I'm going to die. Uh, I need to keep my eyes open for that flamethrower that popped up, because I fucking need it. So this is what I'm talking about with this game, it's got the kind of crazy, oh shit, techno-organic um, kind of vibe. Uh, it's a bit kind of Giger-esque, or Geiger-esque, I've, I've lost track of how you're supposed to say it, to be honest. There you go, there you go tooth penis. Me and my mate Yin, the guy from Hong Kong, we used to, we used to call that a tomato gun, a spread gun. What fun we had, eh? Ah, piss. No! Fucking bollocks! Oh, this is just embarrassing now. Maximum humiliation. Yes, give me that! Ah, you motherfucker! Uh, yeah, that's the thing here. Uh, as, as, as you may have, uh, as you may have realised, let's play let's play Valverde is not a show about skill. <laughs> it's oh, you bastard! It's just about sort of muddling through. I'm down to one life already. Holy shit! So uh, I, <laughs> I I'm, I'm inside Sheena Easton's sugar walls, as you may have noticed. See, this is so copyright infringy, I love it. It's like, ah, where have I seen that before? No, uh, don't worry about it. Go on, be a fucking day of voice. So, as I remember, a big metal dragon bastard's gonna come out and whoop me in a minute. Uh, which is no bloody good. It's no bloody good at all. 
Oh no, it's not the dragon bastard. This is a uh, yeah, it's kind of freakier than that actually. Look, it's you know one of those beloved creature. Eat laser, bitch. Oh yeah. Well, there you go. Uh, that's <laughs> no mulligans from me. Uh, we're, we're as far as as far as that's likely to go today. Um, so yeah, look. Thanks very much for indulging the the news updates and such. That was fun. And uh, next week, I promise, next Friday, we're going to have the Star Trek: The Next Generation game, which I'm arguably a bit better at. Uh, and I've got quite a lot to say about it. It's a, it's a rather funny, enjoyable game. So uh, like, subscribe, Instagram. Uh, happy slap each other, I don't know, whatever it is you kids do these days. Hashtag Viva Valverde.